and you've got nothing to read, just come here, here, and I'll haul 50 amazing books today, 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 today. I have a million amazing books today to show you today. Just call me the book wizard, because I've got lots of books to show you today. And look, I look like the yellow brick road. Oh, this is a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. This is... <sighs> I'm Christine. I think it's safe to say this has been one of the most amazing book months to grace our lives. I bought this stupid mask thinking, ooh, this will be great for my October book haul, Halloween. It doesn't fit my face right. Sadness. Uh, what's happening to my victory roll? I guess this doesn't work unless you've curled your hair the previous night. This is my first time attempting curl this victory roll. So we have a million amazing books to show you this month. Let's get right down to it. Hit me with your best amazing book. Fire away. No, I'm gonna hit you with my best amazing book. Fire away. Do 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 do. Doo -doo. Hit me with your best book, da -da -da -da. I'm gonna hit you with my best book, doo -doo -doo -doo. hit me with your best book, fire away, I'm gonna hit you with my best book, cause this is the book called, Choo -choo -choo -choo. yeah! Kicked with my sock with a hole in the toe. All my socks end up like this. I look like I live on the street. So the first book I have to show you this month is the October Book Explosion Book of the Month. This month we're working with Macmillan on the amazingly beautiful, spectacular Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Six of Crows. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. This is limited edition with the black. So if you want this version, you gotta get it like now. It's a heist novel that takes place in a fantasy world. If you've read the Grisha trilogy, you know about Grishas and stuff. It's in that world, but you don't have to read the Grisha trilogy to read this. This gang gets offered this huge heist job. They take it on for $30 million. The characters are fantastic. I've actually been audiobooking it on my phone and the audiobook is phenomenal. I'm enjoying it so much. The acting is like top notch. If you're interested in audiobooking, I actually have an Audible affiliate link in the description. If you sign up using that link, you get a free audiobook, which is banging because audiobooks can be pricey. I'm already so excited about this book. I'm really enjoying learning about the magic system in this world. Loving it, loving it. And the cover, for so long, I just thought this was a wing. It took me a while to finally realize that there's a crow up here. This is, this is the crow's eye and face. It's not just a wing. Second amazing book I have to show you today. Oh, I already spoiled it. I already showed it. But it's the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the illustrated edition. Scholastic is releasing illustrated editions of every Harry Potter book, one every year. It's so beautiful. There are some sort of illustration on every page. It's just so exciting because this opens up Harry Potter to a whole new generation. You know, you can read Harry Potter to your kids, obviously, but kids love to see pictures. Everyone loves to see pictures. Look at this page. It's so big and it has a built-in bookmark and it's beautiful. It's if you're one of those people who haven't read Harry Potter because you were too young, read them. Just read them. Read Harry Potter. The next amazing book I have to show you. <gasps> Carry on. Uh, 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 uh. But bring me around. Dun, 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 dun. I've been excited for this for so long and I'm so, 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 so excited to read it. I'm going to be reading amazing books from this month for like a whole year. What is happening to my victory rolls? What happened to this one? Stay. Stay, stay. I've been loving you for quite some time. Time, time. You think that it's funny when I'm mad, mad, mad. I think that it's best if you just stay. Anyway, I was talking about Carry On. Carry On is kind of a spin-off of Fangirl. It's like Harry Potter and a Rainbow Row book. Smashed together. I'm so excited. So excited. The next book I have to show you today, this is an amazing book. But, alas, I've already read it and showed it to you in a book talk. I just forgot to haul it in my last haul. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Martian by Andy Weir. Now that song is stuck in my head. This is an amazing book. If you haven't read this book yet, it's amazing. You might have seen the movie. It's also amazing. The book is more amazing. It's amazing Er. So I have a book talk for it, and I can tell you non-spoilery why it's so amazing right here or you can just read it and trust me and then watch my book talk and we get to talk about it together because it's an amazing book it's amazing this book just came out i'm really excited about it's it. ritler's new book the rose society the second book in the young elites trilogy the young elites was really enjoyable it was really different it set up so much and it had so much potential and i think the rose society is just gonna kick ass i'm excited to dive back into that story when i get a chance because it's so dark and interesting not your typical ya protagonist what is happening with this i'm a unicorn 
unicorn now. That's what's happened. If you're not aware, I have a book talk for the young elites, which is the first book that I was talking about. If you want to know what that's about, what I thought, right here, you can click and you can watch it and figure it all out for yourself there. This next book I have, I actually just got this in the mail from Simon & Schuster and it's an arc. So I usually put arcs aside because I want to read things that are already out, but the cover really captivated me. So I went onto Goodreads to look it up and it has fantastic reviews so far. It's called The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. It comes out March 2016. Shit. It comes out a long time from now. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't actually look at the date. From what I've gathered, it's about a girl who's been through rape and how her life has changed and how that's affected her as a human. This unforgettable debut told in four parts, freshman, sophomore, and senior year is a powerful story of survival that reveals the deep cuts of trauma and the poignant, often painful journey of self-discovery. Sorry you can't read it till March 2016. I'll let you know if I read it before then how it is. March 2016 actually isn't that far off. The next amazing book I have to show you is Library Souls by Ransa Riggs. <laughs> Library of Souls is the last book in the Miss Peregrine's for Home for Peculiar Children series. I have book talks for the first two books in the series. I was recently in Atlanta, Georgia to co-host Ransom Riggs' Library of Souls event there. I have a video about it right here. Hi, Jesse and I did a whole 1940s photo shoot. We were in cosplay and it was so cool. That's where I learned to do my hair like this. Um, not like this. I mean, it's better than this. Anyway, Library of Souls, third book in Miss Peregrine's Home for Kill Your Children series. Oh my god, did I wear this dress in the book talk? I wore this dress in the Hollow City book talk. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to wear it again so close together. What am I doing? The next book I have here, I actually received from a viewer at the Library of Souls event, and it's called Servants of the Storm by Delilah S. Dawson. I've actually never heard of this book. A year ago, Hurricane Josephine swept through Savannah, Georgia, leaving behind nothing but death and destruction, taking the life of Dozie's best friend, Carly. Interesting. It sounds pretty dark. Oh, oh, this came out this month. I actually don't have the book right next to me. But it's the 10th anniversary of Twilight. If you haven't seen my video about it, I'll put it here. Stephanie Meyer wrote another book and it's Twilight and it's gender flip. It's really still blowing my mind that it, it lives, it exists. Next book I have here is Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll, which also just came out. This is canon. This is the real canon of Black Widow in an, a YA novel by Margaret Stoll. She came here, we did an interview and we did the Avengers book tag. I actually think it was a really, really fun different interview and if you haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. I really enjoyed editing it. It was just a fun discussion. We had a fun chat. I'll link it here right here. What has my hair become? I'm just gonna let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Gonna wash my hair before this, but I was too lazy. <laughs> So, the book I've got here, oh my god, I was so excited to get this in the mail. It is November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover's new book, and I already read it, and I already book talked it, but the book talk is not up because the book isn't out yet. The book comes out November 9th, 2015, or November 10th, 2015, the Tuesday, and I love this so much. My book talk will be up the day that it comes out, so we could talk about it because I'm dying to talk about it. I loved it so much. And the last amazing book I have to show you today, I have Magnus Chase and the gods of Asgard, the new Rick Rarden book. This has been a very off-key singy book haul and I'm sorry, I, it's just, it's happened. But, oh, I'm so excited to read it. This series is gonna be based on Norse mythology. This is the first book in the series and, and Rick just announced that there's gonna be one last series in Percy Jackson's world. It's gonna be called The Trials of Apollo and the next book comes out next May, like May 2016. It's not like, oh, it's coming out in five years. It's coming out next year. It's about Apollo. I think Apollo's powers have been stripped away and he's human. And I don't know, he has stuff to do to get his powers back. But like, Percy's gonna be there. And I'm so, so excited. I hope Percy's a main character, but I mean, he might not be because it's about Apollo. But I hope that hopefully he is a main character. Not that I'm not excited about Magnus. I'm so excited about Magnus. I'm so excited to read this book. I'm so just, happy about this new development in Rick Rarden writing dumb. Here's life and death if you were interested. I don't know what's happened to my unicorn. Oh, maybe I could do it this way. Oh, oh yeah. My arm can be like a shelf. But George, I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at me. Ooh. Okay, this looks like I just have like weirdly giant arms. Chug, chug, chug. Chug. I'm Christine. That's my book haul. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments which books you're most excited to read this month because there's so many amazing ones. There's so many amazing ones. I make videos every Tuesday. I'm at Addicts on Twitter and Instagram. And other links are in my description. I'm Christine.
I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. I've got it. I didn't even drop them. I just jumped and didn't drop my books. <gasps> Booyah. Booyah die, like in the 90s? People used to say booyah. Ooh, library events are sold. I'm okay, I'm fine, I got it. Library of ransom was library of ransom hot mess or weird Princess Leia look? Oh, okay, come on, get in a pile of books. No, 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 no! Just read, it'll be okay. Da -da -do -do. Just read, organize that bookshelf, yeah.